Hi everybody, today's focus I am testing Clorox bleach to see how well it removes bacteria from my home. So I've conducted a lot of testing over the past year of all sorts of cleaning products, some that claim to be able to remove bacteria, some that don't claim to remove bacteria. So one product that comes up over and over and over again in my comments is, well, how does this compare to bleach? And I am not a huge fan of using bleach in my home, mostly because I have a septic system, so I don't want to put a lot of bleach down in that septic system to disturb the natural flora of breaking down the waste products. Also, I find it to be harsh, it smells, and I often find that I don't need something super, super, super strong like bleach to do everyday cleaning around my home. I have found lots of products that I like to use that remove a great amount of bacteria without having to even think of using bleach. Now, I will say, I have a storage shed in the woods, and um, some mice decided to move in. Of course, right, I live in the middle of the woods, it's getting to be into the 40s at night, and they're looking for a place to hunker down for the winter. So I had to go through those plastic storage bins, and on the storage bins that had uh, mouse droppings on them, I most certainly grabbed my bleach. What I did is I went to the Clorox website and I found out how much bleach do I need to put into a 16 ounce spray bottle because I have a lot of 16 ounce spray bottles. I buy them in bulk for this channel and it says I should use two cups of cool water and two teaspoons of the bleach and then it has to sit on the product so you need a six minute contact time. So that's what I did when I was cleaning out my storage shed on any of my plastic storage bins that happen to have mouse droppings on them. Gross, I know, but it's a fact of life when you live in the middle of the woods. So since I have the bleach and I conduct bacteria testing in my home for this channel, I decided it's time to test bleach. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take some Petri dishes just like this guy here, and I'm gonna label them A, B, and C. I'm gonna take some sterile swabs and swab various areas around my home. Areas like the kitchen sink, the kitchen counter, the bathroom sink, and the toilet rim. Then I am going to clean according to the Clorox directions, which state that I should add two cups of cool water to a 16 ounce bottle and add two teaspoons of Clorox bleach, spray the area, and let it sit for six minutes. After that six minutes is up, I'll wipe the area to dry it, and then I'll take another sterile swab, swab the area again, and place it on the side labeled A for after. C is my control, nothing's going to go there. So let's see how well Clorox bleach removes bacteria from my home.
Now for some results. The kitchen counter. In the before section, we can see a lot of bacteria, and in the after section, there are no bacterial colonies growing. So the bleach did an excellent job at removing bacteria from my kitchen counter. The kitchen sink. In the before section, we can see a lot of bacteria, and in the after section, we can see two bacterial colonies. So the bleach does a great job at removing bacteria from my kitchen sink. The kitchen sink drain. In the before section, we have a smearing of bacteria. That is a ton of bacteria for the kitchen sink drain. And in the after section, we have no bacterial growth at all. So the bleach did a fantastic job at removing bacteria from my kitchen sink drain. The bathroom sink. In the before section, we can see a lot of bacteria. And in the after section, we have no bacterial colonies at all. So the bleach did an excellent job at removing bacteria from my bathroom sink. The toilet rim. In the before section, we can see a lot of bacteria. And again, in the after section, there are no bacterial colonies growing at all. So the bleach did an excellent job at removing bacteria from my toilet rim. Overall, the bleach did exactly what I thought it would do, which is remove all or almost all of the bacteria from the surfaces in my home. One thing that surprised me was that it does take six minutes, according to the directions, to be able to remove the bacteria. I don't know how many people actually follow that recommendation of letting the solution sit for six minutes on a surface. This is something that I encounter all the time in my testing. I read a bottle label and I follow the manufacturer's instructions to how to clean with it. Sometimes it's a one minute sit time, sometimes it's a five minute sit time, sometimes even a 10 minute sit time. And people will comment saying, why well, just spray and wipe? But in these cases, when you want the bacteria to actually be fully removed, you need to follow the wait time. In the case of bleach, it's six minutes. Each product that I test, I do like to comment on the scent of the cleaner. And in this case, it was just bleach. There were no scents added to the bottle at all. So all I had to deal with was the bleach scent. Do I find it to be strong? Yeah, I'm not a huge fan at all of the scent of bleach. It is what it is and it is what you would expect from the scent of diluted bleach. Like I said in the beginning, bleach is not something that I use normally to clean my home. I do have the septic system, so I'm cautious about what I put down my drain. And I have found plenty of other cleaners that aren't as caustic as bleach that do a really good job at removing bacteria in my home. However, there are instances where I do use bleach. I just don't use it uh, frequently when cleaning my home. If there was a product that you would like me to test, do me a favor, put it in the comment section, and I'll add it to my viewer suggestion list. Or you can mail me something. My mailbox address is in the description below. Just do me a favor and send me an email that's also in the description below so that I know it's from you and so that I know to go check my mailbox. I hope you enjoyed this video. It is good to see how well bleach works, especially since I'm testing lots of different products. So it's kind of good to see how these other products compare to bleach. Take care, have yourselves a great day.